look, the signal is actually in our DNA. The fact that the that DNA was planned and organized is right there in front of us. That's the wow yeah. signal. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kane, and I've got a really exciting episode planned for you. We're going to look at the wow signal of the terrestrial genetic code. Um, I've got it printed off here. We're going to look at what Dr. Gary Nolan has said and what Lou Elizondo has said about this. And then at the end, I'll get chat GPT to summarize it. And we're going to get disclosure here. Let's go. Okay, so this is a previous interview that Lou Elizondo done with Kurt Jamungle. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can listen to the whole question. Kurt asks, is there any archaeological evidence of alien interaction with us? And I've cut it short. Listen to the whole question, but listen to what Lou Elizondo has to say. It would last long enough for us to go back and say, wow, this is an indicator of alien life on this planet 100,000 years ago. What would you have to do to, to achieve that, to accomplish that? Um, it's a lot harder than one might think. And then again, would you recognize it? Uh, one might say, well, DNA. DNA is a perfect example. If you wanted to, to do something that was enduring for humanity, that we could look back 100,000 years ago and say, yes, that was absolutely manipulated by an intelligent life form. Well, deoxyribonucleic acid uh, may be one way to do it. You can put coding and sequencing in there that will perpetuate over time and time. And yes, you'll have some de degradation over generations. But, but in essence, you could do something that way. And it basically, it's a biological marker, right? So we have to be careful when we say we look for, for evidence because evidence isn't just necessarily a spearhead found in the Bighorn Mountains from 11,000 years ago. It's not necessarily a pyramid sitting in the middle of a desert. It could be far more sophisticated than that. You said put it in orbit, right? Well, what if, if we put that rather than in orbit, we put it into the human body, you know? So anyways, that's, 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 so I know it's a very long winded way to answer that question. Okay. So Lou Elizondo has said, potentially there may be archeological evidence of ET interaction in the DNA molecule. Now I'm not going to pretend I didn't know this because Secret Machines God says this, page 184, it references a study and then it's in Secret Machines Man chapter four as well. Kurt, maybe he didn't get the hint, but Lou being polite, he's kind of gone in a roundabout way and come back to the molecule again. Let's see what he had to say. Yeah, let me ask a quick follow-up, and then we'll get to super chat questions, audience questions, and so on. Are there places that we should be looking for evidence that you feel like we're not? So, for example, I mentioned archaeological investigation sites. The reason I brought that up is some people say craft were found. Okay, but you're also saying there may be other markers, maybe, possibly, biologically, for example. If, you know... Um near earth celestial bodies like the moon where you don't have atmospheric friction you don't have the, the you don't have the tectonic processes that we have here on earth that are constantly recycling you know you know someone might want to put something on the moon um if you want to you know reminiscent of um what was it uh, 2001 space 2000 space 2001 space odyssey right where you have these these monolithic markers um that's certainly one way to do it you know, you could put something uh, where you don't have those those same um, those same processes occurring. Where maybe you you could you might be able to extend your time twice as long for leaving some sort of archaeological evidence. Um, the evidence could be right here, could be right in front of us, could be within genetic sequencing. Uh, it could even be more obvious than that. It could be the very fact that we're alive and we're on this planet is is an example of of some intelligent life somewhere making a decision that life needs to exist on this planet. Um, we need to be open to all of that. We, we really do. I, I think um, we need to cast a very wide net. And this is why we say all options have to be on the table until they're not on the table, because you might be surprised. Um, something that's super, super intelligent probably isn't going to build a pyramid uh, that's only going to last, you know, 20,000 years. They're going to do something that's far more enduring, something that will really be, you know, no kidding. You know. Okay, so Lou Elizondo has hinted to look in the DNA molecule. Like quite strongly, he said, look in it. Now, I wasn't going to make this video until I saw this quote from Dr. Nolan, and I didn't realize that he's talked about the exact same thing. So 
I'll put the link to the interview in the description and here's the interview. Let's check out what he had to say. And there's another peer reviewed paper called the wow signal in the genetic code by a couple of mathematicians from, I think, Uzbekistan. Hmm. Uh, and I don't pretend to understand the math and I'm sure there's some statisticians that would argue with it, but their concept was interesting. Hmm. The, um, the, the actual, what we call the genetic code, the, the uh, transfer RNAs that basically say, you know, a proline goes here, a leucine goes there that allow for the um, proteins to be made. Mm -hmm. um, they are so well organized mm -hmm. in terms of the structure of the of who codes for what um, that it looks like it was designed. Right. And then they go through some mathematical models of why it had to have been designed. And you know, there's some caveats that I'll mention at the end here, uh, that uh, the chance of it not having been designed is like one in several hundred trillion. Right. Right. And th what they're saying is the wow message. So you've heard of this thing called the wow message that when somebody first thought that they heard a radio signal from another civilization, they said, wow, they wrote wow on it and that became the wow signal. Okay. So they said, look, the signal is actually in our DNA. The fact that the that DNA was planned and organized is right there in front of us. That's the wow signal. So Gary Nolan has basically said the chances of the DNA molecule not being designed is one in several hundred trillion. That's pretty compelling to me when compared with what Lou Elizondo was saying about potentially a biological marker in the DNA molecule. So let's look at the study he's referenced. This is called the wow signal of the terrestrial genetic code. Um, it has re been repeatedly proposed to expand the scope for SETI and one of the suggestive alternatives to radio is the biological media. Um, so I'll put a link in the description. I'll put this study and the actual study because this is more of a preview one, but um, let's go down a bit to the highlights, the highlights section. The SETI hypothesis of an intelligent signal in the genetic code is tested. The code is shown to possess an ensemble of same style precision type patterns. The patterns are shown to match the criteria of an intelligent signal. So we've got that, we've had disclosure people you just aren't looking in the right place as far as I'm concerned. It's in God's and it's in, I have the advanced copy of Secret Machines Man. It's been out for several years by these advisors that work for To The Stars and Tom DeLong have put this out. Dr. Gary Nolan and Lou Elizondo were both part of To The Stars at one stage. So we've been told that there is a pattern in our blood that matches the criteria of an intelligent signal. Um, it's pretty impressive. Maybe not impressive. Maybe spooky. Let's say it's pretty spooky. If you look in Secret Machines Man Chapter 4, it kind of elaborates on why that might be, but that's beyond the scope of this episode. Uh, we're going to quickly ask ChatGPT to summarize this, just to, you know, see what it says be part of this new age movement where we, you know, merge with AI and become the singularity. Let's do it. Okay, so I've asked ChatGPT to summarize the wow signal of the terrestrial genetic code in 250 words or less. It says the wow signal analogy arises from the remarkable pattern observed within the code. Scientists have discovered that the genetic code exhibits a highly organized and efficient structure. This remarkable coherence and consistency have led some scientists to describe it as a wow signal. Okay. By deciphering and understanding this code, scientists gain insights into the mechanisms of evolution, genetic inheritance, and the intricate processes that enabled life's complexity. However, it is important to note that the origin and development of the genetic code remain active areas of research. So ongoing studies continue. 
Um, I just wanted to do that as a fun little thing to see what it said. One time I'd done it in like a script format and it specifically said that we were like aliens, but I couldn't get it to do it again. And um, yeah, uh, this is a new sort of type of way of making an episode for me. It was like well, not challenging, but a little bit out of my comfort zone. So um, if you got this far, please like, leave a comment, go and take the material and rip me off and make your own episode about it. I don't care. I kind of want to see this message go far and wide, though, and that's beyond my abilities, so, you know, I hope you learned something, um, this has been really fun, thanks for watching my episode, everyone.